Do you always feel like a zombie before you take your first sip of coffee? We all do. Because it gives us energy, sometimes even too much. Open your coffee shop and see for yourself if you can handle the business. Make it the way you like. Use advanced decoration systems. Create amazing coffee recipes. Manage it. Take care of supplies. Train your employees. Read your customers' minds. And do much more to develop your coffee business. Travel around the world and complete a campaign full of different missions. Or just sit down and relax in the sandbox mode. Espresso Tycoon. You've won a contest titled, I've Had Enough of Corporate Work. And the grand prize is an opportunity to intern at cafes all around the globe. Your journey begins in Cape Town, South Africa, where you'll get to learn the ins and outs of running a small coffee truck while gaining valuable business skill. All right, this was going to be right up our alley. Welcome to a caffeine fueled adventure. Today we're going to be embarking on the first quest with a seemingly easy mission as we're aiming to sell not one, not two, but five cups of coffee. So grab your coffee beans, put in your entrepreneurial hats. Our journey to coffee domination begins now because it's time to rock and roll. It's time to dive into the world of Espresso Tycoon. Oh, you must be the winner of the contest. Nice to meet you. My name is Kim, and I'm here to help guide you during your coffee journey. We're going to travel around the world together, starting here, in a beautiful park in Cape Town. Do you see this humble coffee truck over there? Let's start with creating a brand for it. All right, so this one's not just a pretty face. Also, uh, a little bit bossy, but honestly, that's kind of cool. All right, now let's have a look. Branding. Uh, what better name for the caffeine empire than Duck Bucks? Wonder where that reference came from, right? And for the color, we're going to go for yellow because black and yellow is still the brand colors here for the channel. And we're going to stay true to that, right? I mean, the truck does look a little bit more gold than anything else, but we'll take it. That's all we have. All right, logo. Honestly, half of these I'm not impressed with at all. So let's just go easy. Let's go for the three coffee beans. And then um, let's keep things a little bit classy. Let's just stick with the ballet harmony font. Wow, what a brand. I bet your place will attract customers like bees to honey or like pigeons to coffee. Wait, what's going on? There's actually some pretty decent music here in the game. Uh, definitely good. do go and check it out. I have turned it off. I'm not too sure about the copyrights and all of that. But hey, at least we get a, a pretty cool breakdancing pigeon. I've seen many weird things in my career, but a caffeinated pigeon is definitely something new. In any case, let's learn how to navigate the scene. By the way, if you ever need help with any task, just click the show me how button for more detailed instructions. I've got this sneaky suspicion though that the voice actress behind all of this is uh, an AI creation. Can't quite put my fingers on it. There's something about her, I don't know, intonation that gives it away. Now let's move the camera, all directions. There we go. Let's Pretty rotate easy, it right? and we're all done. Now let's switch it also to cinematic mode. And back, and we're done. Now that you know how to move the camera, let's get to work. First, we need to buy some chairs and tables so people can sit down and relax. We should also consider adding some additional lighting just in case someone is sipping on coffee all evening long. All right, if you say so. Now, let's get ourselves a couple of chairs. Let's filter for the seat. Let's take the deck chair right, which is liked by the students. Let's put one right about here. Flip it around, there we go, and you go right there. Then, let's get some tables. Uh, can we just go dirt cheap? Alright, let's have a look, what else do we have? Eighty bucks? Wow, for that price you should come with an integrated hipster. Or even better, we should be allowed to charge the hipsters more. And on top of that, we're going to need two of those ones. All right, lastly, we're going to need a lamp. Let's go for the oil lantern. It's liked by students and hipsters, like the seats and the tables. Nice work. The park is looking empty. I mean, cozy. You're almost ready to start earning money, but we still need to create a menu for customers to order from. 
All right, let's put together this menu. Star of the show, coffee accompanied by... Mm, let's go for it. How about coffee? Exactly. All right, let's rock and roll. Such a diverse menu. Anyway, to help you out, I've already hired a barista and stocked up on the basic supplies that you'll need to start serving coffee. You're all set to go. Now it's time to see how your first customer buys a coffee. Congratulations on your first sale. While you might not be rich just yet, with a few more million sales, you'll be well on your way. Let's take a closer look at that customer now. Dry and sarcastic humor. As is her facial expression for that matter, but I think we better listen to her for our own sake, because I'm not sure what she's going to be capable of. Right, there we go. Social group unlocked. The casual. Meet Johnny Doe, a casual. It's good to know your customers. Fortunately, equipped with an amazing mind-reading device, you can see what your customers really think about their experience. Each review affects your rating points. So, pay attention. Can you see his review of the coffee price? The price of the Americano is very affordable, which is good. And in addition, it's even better that I'm the one who's in control and possession of this mind-reading control device thing. Because if our customers are going to be able to read my mind, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be selling any cup of coffee at any time soon when you again. When your customers are happy about the affordable price of coffee, you may consider increasing it a bit to earn more money. Let's try that now. Sure thing, my dear. Let's make coffee ridiculously expensive. I mean, we've got the hipster tables after all. Let's put it a margin up to... What, 250? And let's do that for both of them. As you can see, analyzing reviews from your customers can give you valuable insights into how to grow your business. But don't forget about the other customers. Click on the highlighted one. This one. There we go. Special table, expensive coffees, and the hipster shows up. This is Marco Polo, a hipster. As you can see, he likes coffee to go, but you don't have any takeaway cups. Woman... You did the initial ordering, telling me not to worry about it and that you had it all covered, so don't blame this one on me. It's a good opportunity to learn how to order supplies. Let's make your customer happy and order some takeaway cups for him. For him. Woman, please fix your intonation. It's really freaking me out now. Now, let's open the supplies, disposables, and then what we want me to order. Uh, let's go for the trophy cups, because they're about the same pricing if you really look at it the unit cost-wise. And I have to choose instant delivery, really. All right, well, so much for saving some money. Thanks, lady. The supplies are on their way. Just wait a bit. In the 21st century, drones can deliver your order. In our world, people are okay with drone delivery. It's a normal part of our mundane life. Yeah, normal part of our mundane life. But to get the drone to actually drop it off inside the truck instead of in the garden next to it, it's going to be too much to ask, huh? Oh, it's a special type of hipster. This one, the rules of physics don't apply to. Oh, wait, is that the special hipster table ability? You're learning very fast. You've analyzed customer reviews and taken action to improve your profits. And... Yep, sorry for interrupting you, lady. I just wanted to click and see what a hipster friend is uh, thinking what's going to tell us. But instead, I interrupted your jabbing on about stuff. So what were you trying to tell me? We need to wait for more customers. Sure. Ah, new social group, the student. Meet Dana Mulder, a student. It looks like she really likes your decoration. I'm not surprised at all. You've already met three different social groups. In future missions, you'll meet even more. Remember, each social group has different expectations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all have different expectations, yet still the same. All they want is coffee. If you zoom in on the place where the student was sitting, you'll notice that she left some rubbish behind. This happens sometimes. Now, lady, calm down a little. She's still sitting, yeah? Can we give her a moment to stand up and leave before we start cleaning? I mean, don't want to rush her out either, do we? Ah, and I finally figured out how the zooming works here in the game, and uh, it's the exact opposite of any other game, so I need to scroll back in order to zoom in, scroll in in order to zoom out, but... All right, now, let's clean this mess. That looks much better. Just a heads up. Sometimes you might need to focus on a task, but there's a lot going on around you. In these situations, you can always pause the game and take your time. Try pausing and resuming now. Pretty useful, right? With the game paused, you can do your job without rushing. On the other hand, when you're waiting for something and don't have much to do, you can speed up the game. You can always go back to the standard speed later. Try them both now.
now you know how to manipulate time. You're almost ready to go, but remember that some customers come with their pets. It would be nice to offer some water for them to drink while their owners enjoy a cup of coffee. Let's make that happen now. Yeah, about those buttons. Can we, um, can I have a few of those for in real life as well? Could really do with some of those every once in a while. And then mainly the pause button in the office would be beautiful. And while we're at buttons, can I also have a mute button for some of my call? Never mind. Now, let's have a look at the decorations. Uh, where does it fall under? Uh, no special. Ah, there we go. So we can have the fancy dog ball blue with two style points, but nobody cares about. We can have it in red, which is liked by the casuals. Two style points and still expensive. Or we can just go neutral. Now we're going to need two, so let's get one red one for the casuals. And the other one for the common folks like you and me. So many happy dog tails. My boss, Mr. I Hate Him, tells me I'm needed somewhere else now. I'm confident that you'll be able to complete the mission on your own. Check out the mission window to see your goals and progress. We'll see each other again soon, I promise. One last tip. Check if you still have coffee beans. Wow. All right, that's your... Wow. Well, I guess we better follow her instructions. I'm not sure what nickname she has in store for us already, though. Probably Mr. I Don't Listen Much or so. All right, so um, we needed to look at the mission targets. Which is still to sell five coffees. And she told us to check on the coffee bean. To ensure we have enough. Which probably means we don't. And we really should not have Miss Kim here. In charge of running the startup orders again. Because so far we sold what? Three coffees? Um, we didn't have any takeaway cups. She forgot about those. After three coffees we're running out of coffee. Which is a minor inconvenience. Since we are a coffee shop. And not the Dutch kind either. So you know coffee kind of is essential. But let's find beans. There we go. And let's get ourselves the pure espresso. Because meh, espresso is a little bit too meh for me. Uh, and let's get it on instant delivery. Because miss, I can't order enough of anything. Made sure that we'd run out halfway the day. Mission, sell five coffees. Here's coffee beans for three. Oh yeah, so the beans have been delivered again. They yeeted them just somewhere in the garden. But it's okay, we can pick them up. Now, we're still complaining about the seats being too far from the tables. Let's see if we can fix that. Um, we can move this in the decorations menu. Now, let's see. What about if we put you here? That better? No. I uh, cannot touch that one because someone's coming to sit there. All right. Now, let's try this seat again. Ah, okay. So, it needs to be facing the table. All right, let's try to get the other one fixed too. No. Yeah, that's not going to be working. All right. Now, I think that was four out of the five coffee sold. Yep, just one to go. Now, let's see. Did the lady think anything though? Cannot put coffee on the table. No, woman. You didn't let me put the table where it needed to be for you to be able to put the coffee on it. If you don't let me put the table, you don't get to complain that you cannot put down your coffee. No. Alright, now let's see. Who's going to be the last one? Is it going to be this lady with her cat? Still cannot tell the difference between a dog or a cat. Alright, is it going to be this gentleman with the... Oh, congratulations. Well, that is appreciated, but I didn't see anyone buy any coffee. So, yeah, phantom coffee buyer. Uh, but thanks for the two grand. I think we're going to be moving along for the next mission. After a successful internship in Cape Town, you have received a plane ticket to the bustling city of New York. This time, you'll be responsible for restoring the splendor of a dilapidated cafe. A famous musician, Phoebe, is looking for a new place to gig. Maybe you can convince her to perform at your cafe. All right, so mission goals, have a guitar, have a guitar amplifier, get a rating of 30 and have a barista with a skill coffee on minimum level, fine. Hello again. How was your flight from Cape Town? I hope you handle 22-hour flights better than I do. Anyway, here we are in New York. They say the city never sleeps, so it seems like a perfect place for another coffee shop. This place has potential, but we'll have to work on it. Starting, of course, with the brand. Yes, brand is important, so why do you keep trying to change ours? 
I mean, you want world coffee domination, so let's be a little bit consistent, shall we? A recognizable brand is a must-have in such a competitive market. Now let's take care of the coffee shop itself. At this moment, it's very neglected, but I'm sure you can quickly bring this place back to life. Do you see this? All right, now let's clean this place up, make it somewhat recognizable as a non-cockroach infested former pub. Um, there we go. Now let's take this shelf and sell it off. As you can see, not only did we get more space, but we also got some extra cash. Remember, if you ever need some money, you can always sell some of your furniture. Anyway, it's time to renovate the wall. Time to renovate the walls and floors, so let's go for decoration. And then... There are floors. And, yeah, well... Options here are pretty much like uh, Ross's dating life. You either get a lesbian or a lesbian, and in this case, we're going to get wood or wood. So, how about we go for wood, and then we have the stage platform, and we'll take the other wood. Then the walls, we either have a friendly wall or a brick wall, really. Um, so, let's first look at the friendly wall, and let's do that here on the smaller side. Then on the other side, we're going to go for the brick wall. Yeah, looking nice. And then to be a little bit stingy on the money, because we do need to look at that, the back wall, we're just going to go for the friendly wall again. Look at that. Much better. What a change. Now the coffee shop looks awesome. It reminds me of some popular TV show from the 90s. What was its name? Ha, ah, I can't remember. Anyway, let's keep on working. It would be a waste to have such a cozy space and not add some tables and chairs. Let's do it now. Okay, so we're going to need three tables, six chairs, but in this layout, so... Let's start with... Uh, the medium modern table, because we're going to need to make sure that it all fits. Alright, so one goes here, uh, the other one right about here. Now let's grab a smaller one, because otherwise it's going to be too crowded. Uh, then seating, the tea reference, the layout. The least they could have done is give it the right sofa prop available, but alright, we'll go with this one. Um, to finish it off, we're going to be putting a medieval coffee table in front. Uh, yeah, that should complete the looks. Then we need a comfy chair. Uh, and that one is gonna go yellow because, I mean, brand channel, we're gonna stick with yellow. And then to finish the rest, let's just go really cheap with tonic, because otherwise we're going to be running out of money before we can do anything else. So let's go for the cheapest chair. That is number one, two, three. And the last, and we're done. You are done. a natural-born interior designer. Now that our cafe isn't so empty anymore, we have to hire a barista. Since our place isn't very popular yet, I saw only one CV sent by. Let me check. Rachel Bean. Well, let's hire her. Um, if memory serves me well, she was one of the worst waitresses ever. But then again, maybe her barista skills are much, much better than her coffee serving skills. So, coffee skill is poor. Um, we're going to need to work on that. Speed is fine, but $70 a day. I mean, then again, I think we're paying partially for the name, but okay. Rachel Bean, that reminds me of someone. She is now part of your business, but she has no clue when she should start her shift. So let's set up her schedule. Remember, each employee prefers different working hours. Yeah, you could have just ended the sentence right there, Miss Kim. She has no clue. Full stop. Also, really... We're going to do business in that we wouldn't dare to upset any of our employees. You're not familiar with my work, are you? Now, how does this work? Explanations? Uh, yeah, not too clear. Uh, ah, so that's how you meant dragging. Yeah, well, that should have been a little bit clearer. Then again, I could have listened to Miss Kim and clicked on the show me how button, but who has time for that? All right, let's put her on the tent attention. I see you successfully assigned her the hours. Now let's wait till she starts her shift. Remember, when there's... Great! We're almost done setting up the coffee shop. I've already organized some supplies, such as coffee beans, water filters, takeaway cups, and milk. However, we've been using cheap, low-quality supplies so far, and it's time to level up. Let's prioritize getting better coffee beans from a reliable provider. Now we're talking. Let's get some proper quality here. And I don't need Kopi Luwak, but uh, at least we need to get something that's more or less acceptable. 
And what do you want me to order and prioritize? The Dreamwave beans. Now, this is changing the order quantity. How do you want me to... Well, let's first order. Delivery, four hours. Seems fine. There we go. So that's how we can put you higher on the list. There we go. Now that you know how to use different supply providers, it's time to open your coffee shop. But did we forget something? Of course. We forgot to set the menu and prices. Let's do that now. Yeah, menu creation. That one is easy. Uh, let's add all the coffees. And ready to go. Now we are truly ready. Let's open the coffee shop. Now, I know you want me to open, but I'm going to skip time first because there's no barista. And there's one thing I can promise you. I'm really good at drinking coffee. No good at serving it. All right, there we go. Let's open the shop. It's officially open. Now it's just a matter of time until it will be full of customers. Do you see this elderly gentleman? Let's see who he is. Uh, I only see Rachel walking in, so let's check outside. And, ah, first delivery. Otherwise, no beans, no beans, no coffee. And there we have the senior. There we go. Social group unlocked the senior. This is Tom Heckles, a senior. He's about to buy a coffee. As you can see, Tom appreciates the fact that your coffee shop is clean. Try to keep it that way. Oi, then get your rear end in here. Wipe the tables, Miss Bossy. Notice how the money you earn from selling that coffee multiplies. Money multiplier is a secret ingredient of our world. You earn more when your cafe looks nicer. Each decoration item gives you some style points. And when you get enough of them, your money multiplier increases. Let's do it now. Ooh, is that how income works? Uh, pretty sure I need to do some redecorating here in the house. Good job. Where do I get now those style points? And who's going to inform my boss of the style point status of my house so he can, you know, adjust my pay? Okay, next up, train Miss Rachel to be less bad at what she does. Uh, gonna cost us $160, but she'll make a fine coffee. Training will take six hours, but after that, at least the mission objective is met. Once Rachel's training is done, her skill will improve. It's important because your customers will judge the skills of your employees. The employees themselves also want to have some training from time to time. But remember, with better skills, they will also expect a better salary. I think you're ready to continue on your own. But before I go, let's check out the mission goals. Yeah, mission goals. So we need a rating of 30. We're currently at 16. Not sure how we're going to be increasing that. Uh, let's see. Barista level needed is fine, currently at poor, but that's a training in progress. And then we need a guitar and an amp. You may wonder why you even need a guitar and amplifier. Well, there's a rising star of New York music, a girl called Phoebe. She won't give a concert in every coffee shop, though. It must be liked by lots of people, and, well, you must provide the proper gear. Her presence will surely make your place very popular. I have to go now. See you soon, somewhere in the world. Okay, well, bye, Felicia. So, we were talking, guitar and amplifier. Um, can we just search for guitar? Yes, we can. There we go. And then the amplifier. Oh, wow, that's a big boy. All right, let's put you... I think you go like that. All right, let's put you there. Then guitar. Uh, they're both about the same, though. Cost and liked by. So, let's go with the Sunburst Edition. It looks kind of cool. All right, so that's half of our missions completed now. Uh, we still need to work on our rating, which, okay, just increased to 17 when someone bought a coffee. And then we can also add some... Uh, no, we cannot, because we're broke. All right, then instead, let's do some cleanup. Let's keep it nice, clean, and tidy, because Miss Bossy here didn't do anything to help. She's only here to show us around, you know? Ah, training completed. That's good. So now she's at the level of buying coffee. And, and I think that's kind of more like a realization stage for the customers. Here's your drink. Okay, fine. That kind of looks like coffee. Now, all that's missing is the rating of 30. So let's add a stool. This one's liked by seniors. Um, can I put you at the bar? No, we cannot. And now we're too poor again to buy anything else. But did that increase our rating? No, we did not. So then what will increase our rating? Uh, now, they're complaining about the prices being a tad high. So let's lower all of them by 10 cents. Maybe that's going to make them a little bit happier. And that might actually increase our rating. 
There we go. So at least now they're happy with the pricing. Uh, yeah, all of these ones are from before we adjusted the pricing. So that's still okay. Okay, it's now past 10 p.m. So we're about to close. And it's official. We're broke again. But this time we actually got told in writing. Uh, we do have 500 credit though. So, and after that we're going to go actual bankrupt. Uh, question is, why did we go into the minus? Was it because we paid Rachel for her day of being present? Now, let's skip the day again till she's back on duty. And let's see if we have any other costs. Uh, no, uh, no changes there. So at least we're still just... Uh, award! Your coffee shop, Duck Bucks, have got an award. Best decorated coffee shop in town, rating plus 10. Well, if this is the best decorated one, then there's little hope for the rest of New York City, but... Alright, also that put us above the 30 rating that we needed, and with that all the missions are completed. Alright, so that's also going to wrapping up this video. Thank you so much for joining, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please do show your support here for the channel by hitting that like button, and of course subscribing to the channel for more content. Now stay tuned for more videos coming your way, and until then, take care, stay entertained, and I'll catch you in the next one.